How's it going, people? Stevie's back again, back with another video. It's been a little while, um, but this we do, we do have some other ones lined up. But this one kind of like had to take priority. Um, I'm trying to keep a straight face as I um, go through this. So probably the best thing to do is to play the video of Kim and Sunny from one of her sit rep kind of questions that one of the, um, what they call field um, reporters are asking questions at the end of the sit rep type thing. And um, like I said, if you don't want to, what I recommend is if you are still uh, interested in Kim's, what she has to say on um, Intel, if you want to call it that, then don't waste your money spending money on, like I said, on on uh, subscriptions. I'll put the link in here. There are people that are, are downloading it and uploading it free for you because I know a lot of people out there are struggling. So even if you don't believe what Team Bubba are reporting after our research, then at least we'll put the link in there so you can watch her content for free instead of having to pay money which you don't have um, but many people don't have i'm struggling so thank you to all those that are uploading it for free because you are thinking of people that can't afford it so well done for that um even though he's putting out bullshit quite a lot of it is bullshit as you will be able to tell from this video i'm about to play of course we called this one the house part two um as you'll see why because someone asks a question about her security and um where she lives type thing anyway let's play the video and we'll come back and my question for you would be what does your day look like if you go outside and um, go shopping go around doing going on errands do you have people that protect you all the time do you have bodyguards how is your security being handled Right, so security for you, Kim. What you got? Do you want to reveal your sources? I don't know. Well, first of all, uh, um, I live in a uh, let's call like the, the John Wick Hotel, essentially. If you've ever seen the movie, so the entire town is made up of security people and their families, essentially. Now we haven't always got a, gotten along. Uh, there was a lot of stories told about me to them and but the rules of the road here is they cannot do bad things within the hotel if you've ever seen the movie you know what happens when an assassin does a bad thing when they're staying in the continental hotel at john wick you know yeah. in the john wick movie uh you know bad things happen to them and their family so that's number one uh number two uh i would say that there are rules of engagement in a zone period. So that means people coming in from the outside, all of those types of things. You know, you, you have to take into account the rules of the zone. So it's not so much even when we were not friends, it's me that they're protecting. It's, it's basically the rules of the zone. You can't come in and get anybody here. Like that's just the way it works. You know, who's a resident and this whole thing. So that's part of the reason why things are, I, I would say, as long as I stay within 11 square miles uh, are okay uh, for me. Uh, doesn't mean that sometimes there's some here, especially the older, older guys that don't like me or haven't liked me, uh, which is fine. I don't mind going to the grocery store and getting dirty looks. I'm, I'm cool with that, you know. Um, but I will say if there are people in town that are not friendly people, then I will, like, I'll walk into an empty grocery store or go at a slow time of day and, and you know, all of a sudden about 20 people follow me in there and follow me around the store. So, well, it's for my my safety and my protection. If you have an unfriendly visiting, you know, that's especially unfriendly to me, which we have a lot of, uh, you know, they just keep an eye out, make sure that nobody does anything you know and other than that um 
you know, I'll see occasional people if I do manage to actually get outside and take my dog for a walk or go on a hike or, you know, do normal stuff when, when I have, I haven't done normal in like two years. So, you know, I mean, I'll get out on occasion, you know, it took my daughter to dinner for her birthday uh, last month or two months ago. So I do little things here and there, but I've just worked yeah. a, a lot. Like from the time I wake up to the time, you know, I fall asleep sitting up on the Sometimes I'm just exhausted. So, you know, it's a process. It's an all day event, you know, so that's working too. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much that's what you'd probably see. Now, if I actually decided that it was a good idea to venture out of here, which right now it's not, you know, based on everything, you know, that's going on um, for the last couple of years, I would have a sea of people. Uh, some with a target you know, and some not. So in the future, hopefully, you know, our goal is to, um, you know, I, there are a few groups in this world that you definitely want to be friends with. And, you know, a lot of that is a monetary thing. You can't expect these people to work for free. You know, it's so, you know, once, once the funding and everything starts moving and, and, and all of this stuff, then, you know, all that, I figured it'll probably take me three to four months putting this stuff in place so that we can, we can move about the cabin, so to speak again. I miss traveling. I know. And you did a lot of traveling. I mean, I'm talking years and years ago when you first got this job. I mean, you've told us some of those stories, so I'm sure you do miss it. Yeah, I think the last time I was outside the country was probably 2015. I haven't been out since then. Um, you know, I've been around a little bit, you know, since then and, and you know, before I came here, which was uh, the very end of 2016, and I haven't left. It's the Hotel California. <laughs> you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave, you know. But you've or, gone to many different, like, densities, lower astral. Upper yeah, astral. yeah, yeah, I've done that a lot way. of that. Yeah, you've done a lot of that kind of travel, just not. With the intelligence physical. and military system, I don't think there's a country or an island in the Asian yeah. Pacific I haven't touched. So, yeah, I've done that kind of I get to see it, but it's not the same yeah. thing. It's kind of like you watching yeah. a movie about people on the beach. You'd like to go to the beach someday. I you know. hear you. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I must admit, when I um, first one one of the um comments on one of our videos thank you to the person that highlighted it to us because we we don't watch the sit rep and um questionable type things that she puts out kim um we, we refuse to pay for the for the uh of course for the subscriptions even though there are freebies out there i just don't have the time and can't be bothered because it's the same old crap that comes out of kim's mouth all the time i mean it's not i think it's in the same report she actually saved us all from this so-called doomsday thing that was going out on 5g to um you know you know the story and i've got to be careful what i say i don't want the video to be taken down but you can um i'll put the link in there and you can listen to it all yourself so she saved the world again save your program she said that doesn't exist but of course um you know, there is a savior program there with her. But it's hilarious. Even some of the team Bubba core members that, you know, I shared it with, you know, they're just pissing themselves laughing. So again, Kim referencing movies always does it. She does songs, movies, books, and it's all about her. Like some kind of a, I'm in the middle of this movie and that's what she does. And a lot long ago, she was talking to um, Kerry Cassidy about, going into these um underground bases or caverns or whatever and she says it was she was describing it exactly the same as indiana jones uh, i think it was the temple of doom or it's in one of our videos she just describes what happens in a movie and again she's the continental hotel she's mentioning in the john wick movies <clears throat> can't you know 
this is what it is. She's just got this imagination where she has references from people's videos, books, music, and she reenacts it in her mind and she puts it into these sit rep reports. And you people that listen to it, you don't quite understand that, you know, this is what she does. I mean, it, it's crazy. You must admit, it really is crazy. So, yeah, so, I mean, she says she's in this community. I mean, she references the, it's like the Continental Hotel. But, of course, what she's telling you is that she lives in a community of low houses. And we've showed you her house, what it looks like. If we will put a reference to our um, Kim's the House video in there. But our whistleblower is really close to Kim and still is today. Two, actually, one that isn't close to anymore, have said that she she doesn't really, she's true, she doesn't really leave her house. But she does go shopping. She does go shopping. She goes to the bank. No one follows her. She goes on her own. Um, she cooks all her food. She's a good cook and things like that. So, but <laughs> the thing is, is that she's, she's talking, I mean, she's not long ago. She said she's never left the house for two years, but all of a sudden now she said, Oh, I'll go and get my groceries. I'll go in there. There's like, it's an empty grocery sh- shop store. Um, but then all of a sudden 20 people come in the shop. I mean, that's just being paranoid, you know? You know, everyone's staring at you. Everyone's following you around the shop. <clears throat> so no one can take her out. No one can assassinate her. No one can kidnap her because she lives in this community. But the whistleblowers that have been very close to her have, have given us a completely different uh, version of this. Is that she's paranoid. She's always talking about, you know, ninjas and people attacking her and things like that i mean this is the kind of thing she's been probably watching too many action films superhero films and maybe she should be focusing on more positive and spiritual films <laughs> instead of like people getting butchered and assassinated it's not really setting a good example there i mean not long ago she's i mean if she lives in this community all these people that are security forces or whatever but how did she paint these houses that she said she did as a job what did she paint all of their houses and get paid by the people she doesn't pay the ones that are looking after her that are basically um john wick style assassins you know the continent you can't if anyone commits a crime on 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 the the um complex or you know this kind of uh, subdivision that she lives on how and what they get taken out because <laughs> they broke the rules so she goes and paints their houses i mean these these are people right, that she's admitted in there that they work for free a security team work for free and then she mentions the funding of course when funding comes again it's, it's just crazy I mean, I mean the only places she's been outside of you know, she said oh, 11 miles square, whatever. She's only visited places in her mind, like by astral traveling, like, you know, the lower astrals and dimensionals. And if she wants to go to a country, she just kind of like does it for a, a power. <laughs> she, you know, all of a sudden she just turns up in Israel, does she? You know what I mean? For a meeting, absolute bollocks. Excuse my French, but. It's, it's comical. It really is. Again, you know, you are a laughing stock of the truth movement. You have to be for referencing things like this. Anyway, that's what I've got for you for today. Um, it is comical, people. And the more people that watch her content and believe it, you know, it's just fantasy world. I'm sorry, it really is. There are people out there doing good work that really are helping the world. I think she's just making a laughing stock out of it. Yeah, you know, like I just said. Anyway, repeat myself over and over again. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching. Please click like and share with everybody so we can get the message out there. Thanks very much. Bye bye.